Democrats are going to be shook by the notion that 70 million people voted for Donald Trump. Like, what do you say to your fellow Democrats? I say, we gotta learn. Why did that many people vote for Donald Trump? We need to understand how people feel. I can't tell you how many people have said to me, I don't like his language. I don't like the way he treats people. It's an embarrassment. But somehow he cares about my job more than you do. Democrats think we're the be all and the end all. And what we have to be willing to do is to have uncomfortable conversations, but also understand different perspectives. Well, Trumpism is not going away even if Donald Trump is not president, right? Talk about the challenges of governing a really divided country. Why is Biden, in your view, the right guy for that job? I've known Joe Biden for almost 40 years since I married John Dingle. I watched Joe and John work together for almost 40 years. Most people don't know this story, but the last day that John served, I took him to the doctor and they took him right to the hospital. And the doctor that day said to me, I think he's finished his life's work and you need to be prepared that he may die this weekend. I didn't tell anybody, but somehow Joe Biden heard it through the grapevine. And the very first people, and the only people that came to intensive care were Joe and Jill. And Joe went and talked to John and said, buddy, it's not your time. You still have stuff to do. And I'll never forget that he did that. And I think I had John for another four years and the country had John in his Twitter for another four years because Joe cared and knew and understood. And that compassionate understanding, that empathy, I think is the prescription America needs right now.